when you're selling your products or services it's uh, critical to evaluate and understand where to sell your products only then you can convert your potential clients into your actual clients hi everyone nisha manon here director of nikaso foods and founder of jack and chill so today i'm going to cover one of the aspects in the four p's of marketing which is place in my previous videos i have covered the other two p's which is uh, product and pricing if you haven't already seen those videos you can always check them out and i leave the link to those videos in the description below so as i mentioned the distribution and the location of your product is very important means you need to understand how your product is going to get to your customer for that you need to choose the right route to the market or the right distribution channel so you can either choose uh, you know one market or you can choose a multiple market or even a mix of both the markets or a few markets so how do you decide your route to the market or how do you decide your distribution channel the easiest and the quickest option is to see what your competitors are doing you need to see what they are doing what works for them what doesn't work for them how you can be different from them and also what you can learn from them next you need to understand where your customers are going to buy your products from where do you want your customers to come and buy your products so do you want it online so it can be accessible from uh, you know everywhere or do you want it to sell it in a shop or a store so if you are selling it in a shop again you need to think of what the location of the shop has to be do you want it to be a local shop or do you want it to have a few stores uh, you know nationally do you want it to be like a specialist shop which is so selling only your product and again if you are selling food products do you want it to be selling it in a uh, in a health food store and if you are selling any other products like uh, you know clothing do you want it to be an exclusive clothing boutique shop so these are the kind of things that you need to see when you are selling it in a shop or it can be online so online again you've got different uh, web websites it can be your own website it can be etsy it can or uh, ebay amazon those are the channels where you can use for your online uh, you know selling or you can even use several social media channels like facebook instagram even whatsapp groups as well then the third one is what is the geographical location you want your products to be available so it, do you want it to be just local do you want it to be national or do you want it to be available internationally so the next one is what is your uh, you know the route to the customer or the channel of distribution so are you going to sell it directly to the customer or are you going to use these middle men in the uh, in the process of selling it to your customer now let's see the different ways in which you can plan to uh, you know get the products to your customers hands or the different distribution channels or your routes of selling so first it's d to c or direct where you as a manufacturer will be selling it directly to the customer so it can be through your online channels or through your website or even social media channels where you have direct reach to the customer the next is through the retail shops so you as a manufacturer will be selling it to a retail shop it can be a local shop or a uh, you know big supermarket as well and they then will sell your products to the end customer the next way is where you supply the products in bulk so you as a manufacturer will be supplying it in bulk to the wholesalers or the distributors who will be buying the products from you and stocking it on your behalf and also distributing it to the retailers on the behalf so then the retailer will supply it to the end customer so as you can see the you know there are different ways you can uh, take in all these uh, routes and there are different people involved as well so depending on your margins how much you can afford to give away or even the stages of your business and the kind of approach you want for your brand or the reach that you want for your brand you can choose whichever route you want because different brands it works in different ways then how are you going to access these uh, right distribution channels will you have sales force or sales people on the road or are you going to get them through exhibitions so these are the other kind of things that you need to understand as well now quickly let's take an example of uh, you know a few famous brands which we all recognize so first let's see apple 
how has apple used this in their marketing strategy or marketing mix so for the place what they have done is as you know apple has got different locations you know they've got their own apple stores in various locations nationally and internationally so you go to an apple store you can buy the mobiles or you can buy the laptops or ipad you know all the gadgets there you can go there and you only buy apple products so that's one way which they are selling their products having their own store and the next one what they're doing is they've got an apple online store so people can buy all these same products but online so you have more accessibility internationally and nationally as well so that's how they have spread it internationally mainly you know by having an online uh, apple store the next one is through uh, you know their exclusive or authorized sellers or uh, distributors so what they do is they have tie up with these uh, various uh, telecom companies let's say so what they do is they have these uh, exclusivity for selling the apple products or if you go to various uh, shopping malls or if you even go to big uh, retailers or supermarkets you will see that there might be some apple store inside these uh, supermarkets or the shopping malls because they are the authorized sellers for apple product you go there and you buy these products and even certain telecom companies they have a tie up with apple for selling exclusively their products the next uh, route of selling for them is through their app store or itunes store so if you want to download some music or movies or any other digital content then people go to these app store and then download them so that's the other way of selling their online products as you can see from this uh, distribution mix so what apple has done is they've used a mix of different channels to get a online reach and go nationally and internationally now let's look at uh, another brand which is starbucks or even mcdonald's who have got a similar uh, you know style of uh, distribution channel so starbucks and mcdonald's you can see they again they've got their own stores so you go to starbucks shop and then you buy a coffee and along with that you buy the other snacks as well even mcdonald's you go there even drive in they've got these days uh, drive in stores as well so you go there and buy the products and then come back the other way the for getting closer to the consumers now what they've done is they put up their own stores like how we talked about the apple store they put up their own stores within the airport or within the railway stations the supermarkets business organizations the schools theaters you know so these kind of places they put in their own store so when consumers come there they can go to those shops and then buy these products what starbucks also does is they've got their own vending machines so again if you are in the airport or railway station or uh, you know theater so if you see these vending machines you go to the vending machine and then you get those uh, coffees from the machine and uh, now mcdonald's they have also teamed up with uh, other uh, you know sellers like uh, deliveroo uber eats and uh, those kind of uh, delivery companies as well so that people get more access to the meals and they can get it delivered to home so as you can see all these big brands they use a mix of different strategies to get, approach different customers and different regions in the country as well so you know and make it more convenient so you need to understand what are your type of customers and how do you want to reach them what type of accessibility do you want to give for your products so these are the kind of things that you need to see and prepare your marketing strategy or your distribution channel so let me know in the comments below what are your products or you know what channel you have planned to choose and what has been successful for you as well it'll always be good to know and then learn from each other and uh, so that's it for this uh, video today i'll come up with more uh, topics in the uh, coming videos and as always thank you very much for uh, supporting my channel and liking and commenting my videos and even sharing my videos with um, your friends and family i really really appreciate it so if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on my future videos so until next time you take care and bye bye